Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack. One day, Jack and his dad decided to make a paper airplane. They folded it up just right, and Jack threw it as hard as he could, and it went all the way across their living room. It flew perfectly, and Jack and his dad both said, Cool! And that flight went so well that they decided to make a bigger one. They took two sheets of paper and taped them together and made one that was two times bigger. They took this one outside and they threw it and it went all the way across their yard. Whoa, cool! And then they thought, well, if we made one this big, why don't we take four sheets of paper and make one even bigger. So they made it four times the size of the first one. And when they threw this one, it went all the way to the end of their driveway. They couldn't even believe how far this thing just went. Well, this was just a day for pushing the limit. Next up, they decided to take nine sheets of paper and tape them all together. This airplane was going to be huge. And when they threw it this time, Jack's dad had to get a running start. He threw it as hard as he could, and it went so far that it went over the house across the street. They couldn't even see where it landed. They had to search for it for five minutes just to find it. Now, just when they thought a bigger paper airplane couldn't possibly be made, they decided they were going to take a hundred pieces of paper and tape them all together and make the biggest paper airplane anyone had ever seen. In fact, it was so big when they got it done, it was the size of an actual airplane. Jack said, hey, Dad, could I ride in this? And of course, Jack's mom wasn't home at the time, so Jack's dad said, well, I guess we could try it out. Let's do it. So they hauled the plane up to the top of their roof, and Jack's dad said, all right, Jack. I don't know what's going to happen here, all right? Nobody's ever done this before. And Jack said, It's okay, Dad. I'm about to go down in history as the highest flying boy of all time. You'll see. So his dad said, All right. One, two, three. And Jack's dad pushed that plane as hard as he could and it flew off the roof. And it went so far and so fast. And then a huge gust of wind caught it and lifted it up even higher. And Jack looked over the edge and he screamed. <laughs> and then by this time, the paper airplane was pushed so high up in the air that an actual airplane flew right by them. And of course, the pilots in this airplane couldn't believe what they were seeing. They got on their radio and said, We have an unidentified flying object in the air. There seems to be a giant paper airplane with a little boy flying around. All aircraft in the area, please watch out. And the airplane passed right by Jack. And of course, Jack didn't have any way to control it. He didn't even know where he was going. But then he realized he could lean right or left or forward or backward to control it. And once he started doing this, he could point the plane and fly wherever he wanted to. He actually could fly this thing. And so then he started flying around in circles and he did a great big loop upside down. And Jack's dad pointed up in the sky and was like, whoa, look at what Jack just did. And by this time, Jack's mom came out and realized what was happening and screamed, ah, look what Jack just did. And even Jack's dog came out and said, woof, 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 woof. 
But then, right when Jack was getting the hang of what he was doing with the airplane, just when things were starting to get fun, he noticed something off in the distance. There were some great big storm clouds starting to form, and they were headed right his way. And these weren't just any storm clouds. They were big, dark, swirling storm clouds with thunder and lightning. They were loud and scary. In fact, they were so big and dark and loud and scary, it turned out it was a great big tornado. And it was headed right for Jack. Oh, no. Jack tried to turn out of the way, but it was no use. The tornado was headed straight for him. There was nothing he could do. Jack had no other way out. He did the only thing he could think of. He pointed that plane downward, and he flew straight down into the nearest woods, and he crashed into a tree while the tornado passed overhead. Whoa, man. That was close. What a relief. After a few minutes, the tornado was gone. And Jack thought to himself, where am I? He wasn't in his backyard anymore. He didn't even know where he was. He was lost in some strange woods. What was he going to do now? And just when he was trying to figure out where he was, he started to hear a strange growling sound coming from behind him. And when he turned around, he saw a great big bear staring right at him. And this did not look like a cuddly, cute bear. It looked like a mean, grumpy, angry bear. It started running right after Jack. And Jack screamed and started running away as fast as he could. But then the bear caught up to Jack and bit Jack right on the back of his shirt. But then Jack flipped backward and landed right on the bear's neck. And Jack said, giddy up, bear. Now the bear was like Jack's horse and it had to take Jack wherever he wanted to go. So Jack said, bear, take me home. And the bear said, okay. So the bear took Jack all the way back home and Jack finally got off the bear. And when Jack's family saw him standing right next to a huge bear, they all said, <coughs> but the funny thing is by this time, the bear had actually started to get used to Jack and he actually turned out to be kind of nice. <coughs> Jack reached out to scratch the bear behind the ear, and the bear gave Jack a great big lick across his face. And Jack's family could see that the bear was pretty nice, so they said, huh, maybe we don't need to be scared. And then Jack said, hey, Mom, hey, Dad, can the bear come in and have dinner with us? And they said, well, he did bring you home safely. Well, I suppose it's all right with us. So the bear came on inside and ate dinner with the whole family, and Jack said, Mom, Dad, can the bear sleep in my room tonight? His parents said, Well, I suppose he has been a good boy. It's all right with us. So once Jack's parents got Jack and the bear all tucked in and put to bed, Jack and the bear fell fast asleep. But later that night, Jack woke up when he could feel the bear crawling around underneath his bed. Now, what on earth was that bear doing? What was he doing trying to get under his bed for? Did he smell something down there? This is strange. The bear was huge, and he was knocking Jack's bed all over the place. There was no way Jack could sleep like this. And right when Jack finally turned on his light to tell the bear to knock it off, the bear was gone. Where did the bear go? Did he disappear under the bed? Jack pulled off his covers and crouched down to look underneath his bed. And when he looked under there, he thought he could hear a strange noise coming from off in the distance underneath his bed. 
And he could even see a trail of the bear's fur going down under his bed. So he knew the bear must have gone under there. Could the bear really have gone under here and disappeared? This is crazy. So Jack crawled under his bed. And as he crawled under, he could hear the noises getting louder. So he started to roll under his bed. He rolled further and further. And the further he went, the smells, the sounds, the light, and the atmosphere began to change. And when he finally stopped and looked up, he couldn't believe what he saw. But that's a story for another day. 